Hey, I wanted to make a quick uh, philosophical point about epistemic norms or the shoulds and shouldn'ts of knowledge. Um, so, in the past, I've had a position like you shouldn't post something unless you've Googled about it or at least know that you're getting it right. And I think that that might be too strict of a position. What I think I really believe on this issue is more like you should be open to posting things that could be wildly wrong, but if you know that they could be wildly wrong, or if you know that there could be a vast literature on it, then be very, very open to correction. Um, for example, this book, Emotional Intelligence, um, is something a lot of people believe and continue to believe in spite of the very large body of evidence against it. Um, I will post a lot of claims on my YouTube channel about linguistics that I'm frankly not sure about. Um, uh, or rather, I don't have as high confidence as I would if I were posting about, say, exercise science. Um, I think that it's valuable to share these insights because, or at least they're insights to me at the time, because if I hit on one that is very useful, then that exceeds all of the crap that I've made that might be wrong, especially if I'm willing to revise what I say in response to someone correcting me. Because if someone corrects me, then I'm very open to that, um, especially if it's from a person who's clearly read some, you know, quite a bit on the subject. Um, what I object to is the phenomenon of people posting a lot about what they don't know about and then refusing to um, modify their um, their beliefs or their or their statements after having been corrected. Uh, so really, it's the epistemic recklessness that I'm um, that I and combined with the stubbornness that I find so objectionable, not necessarily a person just willing to say whatever and see if it's right or not. I actually think that uh, using social media as a laboratory for crazy ideas that could be totally wrong is fine as long as you can very quickly adapt to the criticisms that you receive. Um, just to name one example, um, I was a staunch um, free speech person. I, I identified as a free speech uh, um, advocate, um, or, and I, I still do. But I think that, um, but I was corrected by Kenny Isoran, um in a Facebook post uh, a couple of years ago when he mentioned that it's not an issue of whether we censor, it's where we draw the line of what we want to censor. And I digested that for about a day. And then I modified my position almost instantly. Um, and then there are some times where a single study can be enough to instantly disprove what you said. So if I were to post something bullshit on like, say YouTube or whatever, um, I would, uh, and a person posted a study that, you know, directly refuted what I just said, I would either, uh, I would either, I would do one of two things. I would either keep the video up with the study as like a correction just to publicly show that what I said was wrong, or more likely I would just delete the video, um, and then either issue a follow-up saying, hey, actually what I said was wrong, or just say nothing, depending on the severity of the error. Um, but um, I do make these modifications, and I, and I can make them quite fast, whereas a lot of people I've noticed um, don't. And I think that that's my problem. My problem is the epistemic re recklessness combined with the stubbornness that causes so many problems on social media. Um, people are very, very slow to change their minds. Um, I don't expect people to change their minds that instant, Usually it's like a process that takes about a day or two or three uh, for them to really let it marinate, you know, but even still, um, 
uh, that's that's more than enough time for a lot of people. I think that that's a reasonable time frame. Whereas people will go years holding the same viewpoint against many, 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 many reasons to believe otherwise. And that is that is what I object to when I talk about people posting un unrigorously or unthoughtfully or whatever, because it's they're just failing to do their basic due diligence in reflecting on, you know, devil's advocate positions for their belief or whatever, just sort of, if you thought about this for five seconds, you would realize why it's wrong, that sort of thing. So um, that's really what I have issue with. I'm okay with posting a bunch of bullshit that comes out of my mouth and uh, letting the uh, more knowledgeable among us tell me that I'm wrong. I'm absolutely okay with that. Um, I'm because I'm willing to, uh, you know, take the, the L, but unless you can take the epistemic L, then you should shut up is more or less my position.